Hey guys, my name is Kaylee, and today I'm bringing you it's today I'm bringing you a tutorial on this look right here that I created using all affordable makeup products that you can purchase off Cloud Ten. We all know makeup can be expensive, and some brands are ridiculously expensive. But you don't have to be going out and buying the most expensive brands to look your best. The more expensive product does not mean it is the better product. There are plenty of hidden inexpensive gems on Cloud Ten, and I'm going to show you how I use them. So if you want to see how to get this look at a very affordable price then just keep on watching. Starting off with the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I feel like it is a staple foundation just because of how cheap it is and how well it works. I think the fact that it says healthy in it as well kind of attracts people to it. Yeah so with its vitamin mix it instantly erases signs of fatigue and of oh, fatigue for a flawless fresh and healthy looking complexion. Lord knows that's what I need. Bouncing that on as well with my Beauty Blender. Again these can be got off by 10. I'm using the shade 54. So straight off the bat with this foundation you do get good coverage but if you want to add more coverage to certain areas you can, it's definitely buildable. That foundation is $12.95. $12.95, like come on. I have seen a lot of people raving about it online. Another good foundation that Cloud 10 stock is the LA Girl. I've seen so many people raving about that but it's actually sold out in their site as well. So just even keep an eye out if that's something you are willing to try that Cloud 10 actually do stock it. They also stock the LA Girl concealers as well. I'm gonna use one of them to contour today. To conceal and highlight, I'm gonna use my Sosu contouring kit. Now, oh. Crap. This one is actually refillable. You can buy these separately now, which I think is great. This retails for $29.95, so I know some people are gonna be like, that's not cheap. You get six little products inside this, so that's basically five euro each. Five euro for a setting powder, five euro for a cream concealer, cream contour, cream highlighter, five euro for a bronzer. Like, that's not bad. I'm just using shade one from the contour and kit just to highlight anywhere that I want to bring forward. I use this palette to absolute death. I normally would go in with shade two then to bronze, but because I want to show off different products, I am not going to do that today. So I'm going to use an LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee to Cream Bronze. I feel like LA Girl is just killing it at the moment, like with their concealers, everyone knows they're great. And then with their foundation as well, everyone seems to be loving it. I'm just blending that all in. So the LA Girl concealers, they do come in a range of different colours and I know they've got really nice colour correcting ones as well. Green and orange ones as well to hide any redness or to hide any like blue discoloration. I really like the colour of that. I feel like it just gave me a little a little touch of warmth. Those concealers are only 5 50 Wow. Set the under eyes, we're gonna take shade 3 from the So Soothe palette. Just set in everywhere we put the concealer. And we're gonna use shade 6 to bronze. I'm going to use my favourite blusher, if you guys follow me you know this, it's the Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. So it's a peachy blusher but it has gold reflex through it, it's just gorgeous. And this is only 11.50. Just brings so much like colour and life back to your face. I love putting this on my mom as well because you know on older skin you don't really want to be using a lot of highlighter because it's going to highlight wrinkles and fine lines. Because this has a little bit of sheen to it as well, like you can see it has a little bit of sheen that I only have to put on the blusher and the gold reflex in it act as a highlighter as well. So to highlight I'm going to be using the Milani Instant Glow Powders and this is in the shade Strobe Light. It's the brightest one I believe they have. They do come in loads of different shades. Just popping that right onto the highest points of the face. Just looks really nice over top of your blush. Again, I feel like Milani's a brand that not enough people are talking about and should be talking about. And then gonna finish the base using this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Pumping that is quite aggressive. It gets the job done very quickly, so you do not need an awful lot of that spray. So I just popped on my brows there off camera because I'm sure you guys are so bored of seeing me do my eyebrows at this stage. I have got a full video over on my own channel if you want to check that out. But as always I use the Benefit Goof Proof or Benefit Precisely My Brow. I use two just because I'm extra like that. I know Benefit isn't a drugstore brand but those are just the products that I love to use in my eyebrows. I'm afraid I cannot switch it up. I'm too scared to do it. They work for me, I know they work, and we lived happily ever after. <laughs> Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Nip and Fab Eyeshadow Palette. This is the Fired Up Palette. Absolutely gorgeous tones. It's like a warm girl's dream. <laughs> there is a mixture as well of shimmers and mattes, which I like. How many eyeshadows? Four by three is... 
12, 12, 12. <laughs> and this is why I'm a MUA. And this palette is only 15.50. So basically just over a euro per eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna take a mixture of these warm colors here, starting off with the lighter shade first, working that into the outer portion of the eye and into the crease, and then deepening it slightly with the darker color, just at the outer edge. I mean, they're not the most pigmented eyeshadows I've ever used. I've definitely had to keep going back in to build it up. Just letting you guys know, I did not set my base. I used the cream concealer from the Sosu Contour On Kit and I did not set it. That way the eyeshadow stick come up a little bit more pigmented. Yeah, like I said, they're not the most pigmented, but they apply great. They apply great, you can build it up or else you can sheer it out. They blend really, really nicely. The colors are gorgeous. There's no fallout, so. It's all just personal preference though. Some people don't want eyeshadows that are gonna go on super crazy pigmented. Some people want eyeshadows that they're gonna be able to work with a little bit more. It's honestly down to like personal preference and what a person is actually used to. I'm gonna take my baby finger and I'm just gonna take the lighter shade, this little pinky color. I'm just gonna pop that over the lid. A little bit of some, some. Now to tidy this all up with a wing, this is the Ultra Black. Ultra Black, what? Ultra Black 24 Hour Felt Tip Eyeliner from Bourjois. It is actually quite chubby. I thought that might make it harder to work with, but it's completely fine. Cha. Yeah, I found that super quick, super easy to use. I thought it was gonna be too chunky whenever I first seen it, but no, it's absolutely fine. Can't judge a book by its cover. Main thing with these though is you wanna make sure that you keep the lid on them at all times and just be careful if you are going over any glitters with these because that can tend to dry out the felt tip, but other than that, super easy. Wing liner made super easy, that's what this is. Popping on mascara, I'm just using the mini bad gal bang from Benefit. Again, I know it's not a drugstore brand, but this is the mascara that I love using. And you can get the mini version as well, so you don't have to buy the full product. If you wanted to test out the mini product first, that's what you can do. That's something that I think Benefit is great for, the fact that they have got minis of everything. I just personally have not been able to find a drugstore mascara that does what this does for me. For lashes, I'm gonna be using this Sosu Sophia lashes. Very natural, but you can see the difference they create. They kind of just like lift up the eyes. They're such a pretty little lash. So flirty and not too extreme either. For someone who doesn't like like super long crazy eyelashes, these are gorgeous. For my lips today, I'm using the Nip and Fab Liquid Lipstick. Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this is in the shade Tarte. Oh wow, that is nude. So I just popped on a lip liner so it didn't look as crazy. <laughs> I've tried these liquid lipsticks before. They are quite like hydrating, like they don't dry down completely matte. Again, that's personal preference. Some people some people don't like it, some people think it's sticky, some people like that because they don't like when it crumbles off their lips. And then gonna put this Nip and Fab Lip Topper over top. It's gorgeous gold sheen. This is in the shade Galactic. So this is like a super intense, super intensely gold shimmery lip gloss. Do you see? And that is what it looks like with the gloss on top. You can get these lip toppers in different colors, of course. This is the one that Makeup by Mario used. This is the shade Galactic. It just makes your lips look super luscious and, you know, glossy and gorgeous. And because it is gold, you can pretty much put it on top of everything. So you can put it on top of red lips. On top of a red lip, this would be insane. Insane. The gold against red looks so cool. And that there's the finished look for you guys. A full face using affordable brands that are all available from Clive 10. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and learned something fun and new and different. Sure to leave a comment down below if you use any of these products, if you will be using any of these products, and what are your favorite drugstore brands. Don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up down below if you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.